PC Perspective's coverage of CES 2016 is brought to you by Logitech. See the latest gaming peripherals at gaming.logitech.com. Hey everybody, Ryan Shroud here. We are at the MSI booth at CES 2016, and we have a, a, a gaming machine here, a gaming notebook. Uh, this is the MSI GT72S G Toby. Uh, and this is interesting in that you probably see this red bar, red lights across the bottom. Uh, this is actually some of the new Toby eye tracking technology. And I'm purposely not looking back at the screen because I want to demonstrate one of the effects that it has. So, um, it, Ken, if you can get me and, the, and it back in, in, in frame. So what we're going to do is we're going to hide uh, my eyes from it. This has this... Uh, ability to track your eyes. You can use it for a lot of interesting things. One of them is kind of an auto-pause. So as you turn away, uh, it will auto-pause the game. As I turn back to the game, it will unpause it just by knowing that I am looking at the screen. So there you go. Now it's, it's unpaused. Now something else that's interesting is if you look at this, if you've ever played uh, the new Assassin's Creed, you know that you have a grappling effect. Uh, and you'll notice that the R button prompt for where you can grapple is kind of moving around. And it's probably hard for you to tell because you're not looking at my eyeballs, but it is going to where I am looking, and it is very fast, it's very responsive, uh, and obviously there's limited spots where you are actually allowed to grapple in the game, but it is working incredibly well. Um, so if I kind of just look around and decide I want to go uh, up there, let's, where's it at? Oh, wrong one. We'll grapple over there and move over. And I did all of that basically just using my eyes. So you can still use the right thumbstick to um, you know, look around the world, right? and then use your eye to interact in, in certain things. And well, something else that you can do is, let me see if I can find a, a spot here where it happens, is you'll notice that the brightness is changing on the screen. And that is all happening dynamically based on where I'm looking as well. As I look to the left and to the dark side of where this building is, you can see that the rest of the image kind of blows out a little bit as it would in real life. If I go look at the pillars off to the right, just with my eyes, everything else that comes into focus or comes into the correct brightness levels. And so as I just move my eyes around the screen, as you would expect in the real world, uh, the, the color and, and dynamic range is actually changing on the game. Now this does require specific game integrations, um, but it's, this is actually a really, really cool thing. I had never seen or used any of this stuff before. Uh, and this is a machine that's going to be available relatively soon uh, from MSI. It's a GT72S, so you know the form factor, you know the build quality, you know the performance you're going to get out of it. Uh, but you get to add the capability for this Toby eye tracking. It's using IR and uh, double cameras to, uh, to, to watch your eyeballs and see where you're actually looking. And it's pretty damn cool, guys. Hopefully we'll see a lot of this in 2016.